Even if it's two pounds I'm borrowing you, there's going to be agreement. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Don't ask me for money. It's your boy Mr. CV, I'm back, I'm back with another video. And it's been a while since I sat on this chair to make a video. But, you know what, I was just on my way and I got this uh, epiphany of an idea. Something which is born out of frustration. And the frustration is people keep borrowing money and they don't, they don't pay back. I don't know what gave these people impression or what gave these people an idea that they think I'm like an ATM or I'm Barclays Bank because everyone, ah, Mr. CV, I need this money. Mr. CV, can you borrow me this? Listen, listen, the reason why banks are available, the reason why banks borrow people money, go and borrow money from bank, don't, don't, ah, uh, listen. Like I said, this is a very, very frustrating thing now that people just, like, you borrow people money in full and then when they're paying it back, they start paying back little by little. It's easy to borrow money, but to pay back, that's the difficult part. And I don't know what is it with people. You have an agreement with people, okay, look, you're gonna borrow this amount of money, can you pay it back this time? They say, yeah, 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 no problem. All of a sudden, the time comes, you start chasing them, you start, what, what is this, 2022? Listen, unless you're my family member or someone I know very well, I'm not borrowing you money. It's simple as that. And also, if I do borrow you money, it comes with terms and conditions. If you're not happy with the terms and conditions, that's your problem. Don't ask me for money. Also, I'm not going to borrow people money unless I'm ready to lose that money. Because the thing about humans, humans, if you put too much hope on humans, they'll disappoint you. So, the money that I borrow someone or the money that I give someone, if they don't pay it back in the time of agreement or they don't pay it back at the time that I'm expecting them to pay it back, then you know what, I'm not going to take it to heart too much only because I know that money is not of a substantial figure. But in saying that though, some of you, some of you have no shame, no shame at all. How can you owe someone money and you're walking around confidently as if Nothing's happened. And the worst part is someone even, someone even, <laughs> someone owes me money that I've given to them, yeah? And they have the audacity, yeah, to call me and like, say, ah, oh, Mr. CV, I'm starting a project. Uh, I would like you to get involved. What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You owe me money, yeah? And you want me to be getting involved in your projects. That's going to cost me time, effort, energy. And you think mentally, mentally, I'll be okay with that. Mentally, I'll be stable with that. The worst part is, this person has been owing me money for a good two years now. Two years. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. So, when they told me that, oh, you don't want me to get involved with the project, I said, you know what? If you want me to get involved with the project, the money you owe me, pay it back first. Once you pay me back my money, then I'll make a decision later whether I want to get involved in a project or not. Now, if you owe someone money for two years, yeah, and the money is not even a lot as well, if you owe someone money for two years, that's not owing anymore. That, you're kidnapping my money now. You're kidnapping my money. Give back my money back. But then, all of a sudden, I was thinking, wait, well, hold on. They haven't paid me back my money in two years. Two years. What hope do I have that it will pay this money back? So, you know what? I thought to myself, I said, okay, you know what? Let me message him and tell him, pay at least £10 a month or something. £10 a month. So by the time you, you've you been paying £10 a month, the money would have been completed. You know the worst part? I've given this person this option here. Yeah. You're even lucky I'm giving you this option. Because realistically, I shouldn't give you this option. Because two years, you didn't pay me my money. So I've given you this option out of goodwill. And you read, you read my message. You read my message on WhatsApp. The audacity, yeah? The infantry. This person read my message on WhatsApp. And the worst part is, you know when he has blue tick? When he's double tick and he's blue. And you know they've read it. And till today, they still haven't replied to me. I don't even want to get into that too much. Imagine you owe your landlord rent. And then all of a sudden, you start calling your landlord that, oh, um, do you want to get involved in a business? 
idea. Your landlord is going to think, wait, hold on. You owe me money, but you have money to be set up. Now nah, you're taking the... You're literally taking the mick. You see this borrowing of money thing? It sounds very, very small. But the thing is, this is, is a massive problem. Like Sometimes we overlook it. And I had a friend of mine that told me, look, listen, I don't want to borrow you money because I don't want our friendship to be impacted negatively. And you know what? I totally understand that and I totally get it. And at least he was honest about it. He told me straight. Because for me, personally, I don't like borrowing money from people. I live within my means. I only borrow money from me if I really need to, if I desperately need to. But most times, I just live within my means. If I don't have the money, I don't do certain things. Let's get back to this. So, as I was saying, look, this borrowing of money thing, this money in general is a big problem and it causes problems in many areas in the society. This word of this friend of mine that told me, look, I don't want to borrow your money because I don't want a situation where you fail to give back the money and I have to start changing my ways towards you. And I don't want that. And it's definitely happened with the other guy that owes me money for two years that hasn't paid back. Because now, the respect for him is gone. I can't look at you the same way again. You don't owe me money anymore. You kidnapped my money. I feel sorry for those money in your hands because they must be trying to escape. And they can't escape because you've held them in captivity for two years. Back to the friend of mine that told me that he doesn't want to borrow money. It made me remember something that happened uh, a while ago, actually, not too long ago. I was working in one warehouse a very long time ago and Whilst working in the warehouse, yeah, I met a guy that is another Nigerian guy. Obviously, since I stopped working there, we just kept in contact. After a couple of months of talking and stuff, all of a sudden he calls me. He's like, ah, oh, Mr. CV, I need money for da 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 da. And the money is quite a huge amount of money. So I said to him, I said, look, listen, I'll have a think about it. Because one thing about me is this is, I don't rush to make decisions. I make sure I take my time with a clear mind, with a clear head, to make sure I look at the pros and the cons of the decision before making an actual decision. Did I pronounce that right? Before making an actual decision. I think that's better. So I, I look at the pros and cons before making an actual decision. So when he called me, I said, I'll have a think about it. So I, I took a couple of days, I thought about it, I said to myself, look, I don't really know this guy too much. Can't be borrowing this amount of money. So I looked at all the different angles. And then I went back to the words of a friend of mine. I said, look, he doesn't borrow people money or doesn't do business with people, especially family members or friends, just because if something happens and it becomes a big, big problem. So after thinking back to that, I called up the guy. Or the, I think the guy called me and he said, oh, what's up, you're not calling me again. I said, look, no, listen, I've had to think about you borrowing the money. But to be honest with you, I don't want to lose respect for you in case you don't pay that money back. I have the money, but for that reason, I'm not going to borrow you the money. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, no problem, it's fine. So after that, we moved on, everything is fine. A few months later, the guy calls me again was on a Sunday, he said, oh, look, I'm going to church. I really need this amount of money, blah, 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 this and that. Can you send me the money? He said I will pay by the following Friday. He just got a new job and they'll pay him by Friday. Normally, I'll take my time to send the money, but this time, I just sent him the money, just like that. After sending the money, something came to my mind like, look, he said he's gonna pay by Friday. And bear in mind, the following Friday is one week before the end of the month, which means he's not going to get paid on that Friday. He's going to get paid the following week. But because I've already sent the money, I thought, ah, okay, let me just trust his words. Let me just, let me just trust what he says. What that happened was before the Friday, my sister needed the money for something. My aim was obviously once this guy paid the money, obviously I can take it and give it to my sister. I texted this guy, I said, look, why Friday, can you pay me the money? He started telling me, ah, oh, I never told you Friday. I told you the following Friday because that's where you get paid. You that you told me on the phone that Friday. And this is another thing as well. If you're borrowing people money, make sure it's written. 
make sure there's a text or or there's an email of it just make sure it's written down from the person because some of some of these people they're lying they will say oh i never said this i never said that and obviously it's hard to trace it back but once they've texted you or they've written it somewhere and you've got evidence then there's no escape there's no lying for people so this guy now telling me ah oh, i don't wanna i can't pay you this friday blah i was like what this is not what you're telling me some of you can lie ah some of you is lie too much you use religion to lie oh i'm going to church i'm going mosque I'm... stop lying all of a sudden the friday comes he started saying this and that we postponed it to the following week following week come another story like some of these some of no 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 some of these yeah you owe people money you start telling them your life story oh um i've got bills to pay i've got this to pay i've got that to pay so i don't have those things to pay as well also i'll be honest with you i don't care whether you've got this to pay you've got that to pay just give me back my money whether those stories are true whether they're made up i don't really care anymore just pay me my money and i'm sure people that you borrow people money i'm sure they'll say the same thing too because it is getting frustrating the kind of that i borrowed money to that I said i was working in a warehouse as if i knew from the first time that if he doesn't pay back i'm going to lose respect for him guess what in the agreement time we agreed that he's going to pay back the guy didn't pay back the money in the end after chasing him chasing him texting him he didn't pay back full he started giving me little here then another couple weeks no 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 when you asked for my money i gave it to you in full why are you giving me small here small here small what is this anyways after that i washed off my hand off this guy now we don't even talk the same way anymore the respect is gone he can't even call me just like no 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 it's gone everything is gone like i said already if you want to borrow money from me i don't really mind borrowing money to people personally my only problem is can you stick to the agreement and that's the problem and i understand that like, look things happen things change because the world we live in things are always changing but the problem is this is that you need to communicate with me you need to let me know that oh, okay look this is what happened and don't let me know one day beforehand or two days after is due tell me like a week or two in advance so that i already know that okay cool my mind is at peace that okay it's not a problem it's fine don't start telling me that oh two days in advance and then telling me that uh i didn't have the audacity or i'll have the effort to be telling me ah oh, it's just this amount of money is just so it's just this amount of money but you don't have it you don't have it cuz if you do you won't be telling me it's just this amount of money some of you feel so entitled you owe money and you still carrying you still acting as if i don't want to get into that but anyways look like i said i don't really mind giving people or borrowing people my money i don't really mind personally because at the end of the day if we do die or we go we're not going to leave with this money anyway but we're not going to leave with it it's it's going to be pointless it's going to be useless so it, it's not a big problem to me but the problem is this is that can you stick to the agreement and when you are borrowing people money or when I'm borrowing people money there's got to be a written agreement there's got to be an agreement where both parties are signing that look even if it's 2 pounds I'm borrowing you there's going to be agreement if you don't like it that's your problem don't ask me for money listen this money thing this boy of money thing look, it is a frustrating thing and trust me and i'm sure a lot of people a lot of people can relate to this a lot of people have borrowed people money that they thought oh they're just going to pay back all of a sudden it's been lengthy amount of years and people have still haven't paid back and you have to keep chasing them you have to keep texting them you have to be come on man come on this is 2022 now 
If you're one of those people, it's even your own people money, please try and pay back the money, man. Like, it's not easy going to work every day, waking up early, for you to go and make your money all of a sudden. Someone say they need it. You give it to them, and then all of a sudden you start hassling yourself. You start, come on, come on, it's not fair. It's not fair on you because you have to be receiving text every day like, oh, I'll give even calls from the person you borrowed the money from. And it's not fair on the person you borrowed the money from too because they've got to be going out of their way to be messaging you and be contacting you. Like, come on. Like I said, this video was born out of frustration because it is a frustrating thing. I've said to myself already, which I said earlier, unless you're my family member and I know that you can keep an agreement I won't be borrowing your money. Or if you're a friend of mine that needs the money that I've known for a very long time and I know they have a job that they can pay back, then. Or my final condition is if I don't know you and I decide to borrow your money, I can only borrow your money that I know I'm ready to lose. That I know that if you take t 10 years to pay the money back, I know I won't be totally affected then that's fine by me. This video is a bit of a rant. This video is a bit of a releasing some ectus in my brain. If you've been through a similar situation, or you have know people that have gone through a similar situation, leave it in the comment section. Because this is something we need to have a discussion about. And this is something you shouldn't be going to 2022 still carrying this burden of people borrowing your money on your head. So, listen, I'm going to leave you right there. It's your boy, Mr. CV. It's the weekend. Have a lovely weekend, have a lovely day, and um, tune in for more videos. Also, if you want to get involved in my channel as well, my Instagram is there, my details are there. You can message me on here or leave on the comment section, and we can definitely, definitely collaborate or do something. And also, thank you very much to all my followers as well, all my subscribers, and even if you're not a subscriber but you watch my videos, Thank you very much as well, and I really appreciate everyone tuning into my videos, and definitely watch out for more videos, and have a good day, and see you later.